So Art, what do you, on this topic of age gap, yes, right? Yes, yes. You, mm -hmm. You're saying basically, if I'm understanding you correct, your biggest mistake is fishing in too young of a pond of yeah. ladies. Yes. Something closer to your own age would probably uh, end you up in a better relationship and potential for marriage and happy family. Yeah. Is that what I'm understanding? Uh, yeah, I think uh, after being here and, and knowing, uh, meeting hundreds of Ukraine women over the years, many, many good ones, uh, many not so good ones, uh -huh. I'm almost convinced that uh, we have uh, false expectations of being able to be, match up with uh, a woman 30 years younger than us, etc. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it would be really wise of men to look a little closer to their age. I would not be afraid of a 20-year gap. I know many successful relationships uh, with a 20-year 20, 20 year give or take gap. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere around uh, 10 to 20 years you could go that, that big of a gap without uh, being too worried. Mm -hmm. Well, when the gap gets really large, or the year girl gets very young in her twenties, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is it real? Is it really uh, Mary? She's looking for. She has a, a lifetime of options in front of her. You don't. Uh, this can be a, a game for her. It can be money, uh, earning money for her. And the other thing is, too, you show up here even if she is legitimate and does meet you and everything. I mean, it's just a, it's just a playtime for her. Mm -hmm. You're taking her to the restaurants, you're buying her gifts, etc. Their choices uh, diminish as they're above 30, 35. Uh, yeah. There's less and less good quality Ukrainian men as they complain that the good ones are all married off. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, under 20, I would agree with you. What are their true... Uh, what's their true agenda? What uh, are they really after? Under 30. I would under say under 30. 30 yeah. Yes. Uh, it's just because I, 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 I can't speak for all of them, but it's been my experience and what I know. Most of them are looking at uh, having a good time, having fun. Uh, they want to go to parties. They want uh, clothes. They want uh, jewelry. They want candies, flowers, restaurants. They want to enjoy all the benefits of uh, a rich foreign man, mm -hmm. but they're not going to necessarily want to make a commitment. They're not looking for marriage. They're not looking for a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. And if that's what you want, fine. But if you want a really a, a, a good, sincere, wonderful Ukraine woman as a wife, and you're serious about this, don't get caught in that trap. I got caught in that trap, and it cost me years of experience here a lot of money look for a lot a of money and heartache oh, and, yeah. and here you are 10 years later yeah and and you're a guy that is looking for a life companion yes. you know for a friend to be married to your yes. friend a life companion somebody to enjoy the rest of your life with indeed right? I am yes mm -hmm. now art talking about giving advice to prospective Western men mm. looking to come to Ukraine to mm -hmm. meet their lady to get married if there was one piece of advice, your top piece of advice, you said, okay, it's more important than all the other advice I've, you've yeah. given, what would it be? I think uh, the first piece of advice I would say uh, would be to try to find a really reputable ma marriage agency or, or matchmaking agency and stay away from the letter writing industry. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could find a, a truly sincere, legitimate, genuine agency who interviewed the women, interviewed you, provided uh, real people and a real match, uh, that would be, uh, uh, that would save a lot of heartache, a lot of stress, a lot of the anxiety of coming over here. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be a... Because your chances are you, 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 you're, you're introduced to a good lady because they've already vetted, they've screened exactly. her, maybe personally interviewed her. And you, and she, you know she's ser serious. That's, That's huge. Serious. It's huge. She's really serious about this relationship. Yeah. yeah. The uh, I kind of hesitate to share how much time I've wasted and money and effort I've wasted. Uh, I think probably not counting airfare and my trips back and forth, the cost of apartments and the time I've spent here. Just in a letter writing industry alone, I have spent well over ten thousand dollars in fact I, I at one time wow. just just yeah and i'm i'm really being honest here I, maybe I, I sound kind of foolish when i do this because one time i uh, 
And not too long ago. Get caught up in it. It's That's so the whole easy. Point. Thank you for being yeah. so raw and real <sighs> because it can happen. And I'll it, tell you, I just want to tell it, you this. The hook gets, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you can't get it <laughs> out. It's, it, it's true. It's it's, it's, true. it's addictive. I, uh, I'll just I just want to share this because I just sure. came up uh, thought about it uh, uh, not too long ago. I looked back in my records of the amount of uh, letters I had written, mm -hmm. and uh, in about a one year, I had a fourteen month period. I think I had uh, written about five or six hundred letters, and those letters could vary from five dollars to seven or eight or nine dollars each one. Right. All looking to meet a good woman. In conversations, uh -huh. communication, trying to build Make something, and then all of a sudden it fall apart. Mm -hmm. And then it not be real. And then meet other ones. And then you get caught in this in this ego trip. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's like you get, wow, this beautiful woman's writing me. I want to see what she says. And then you do five letters there and you find out it's a, you know, and then on you go to the next. Yeah. It's real easy to get caught in that. Yeah. I did for two months too. And I, I can appreciate mm -hmm. and I can re recall the feeling of they send these amazing natural photos of them in the uh, garden oh. and, and not natural <clears throat> iPhone shots and you think this is a wholesome good lady wow and she's into me yeah and they use this flowery language mm -hmm. uh, art I go to sleep thinking of you I wake <laughs> up and you're in my dreams <laughs> last night and, uh, do Ukrainian women really talk like that no no, not my experience. Never. Not even close. <laughs> no, they're pragmatic women. They're practical. Yeah. In fact, for a woman to say she loves you in Ukraine, it takes some time. They need to trust you. It, it, mm. They don't say, I love you willy-nilly, do they? No. You have no. to earn. And not only love. that, they don't speak like the letters at all. Uh, these are women that uh, I find no. <laughs> to be uh, conservative in their speech, mm -hmm. uh, a bit secretive. Uh, they're not mysterious. a little yeah. mysterious. They're not yeah. prone to share their feelings openly and heart openly until you really pretty solid. Even if you have a solid relationship, it may seem like they're indifferent at times mm -hmm. when they're just madly in love with you. Mm -hmm. But they sometimes they just don't want to share those kind of they don't want to speak it out. I don't know how to say it quite yeah. right. Yeah. But uh, you know they, they feel it. A bit reserved. A bit reserved. That's yeah. a good way to do it. They're still a bit reserved. Even yeah. if you're in a solid relationship with them, uh, they're a bit reserved. They're about, yeah. would you agree, they're about pleasing their man? They, they, in every way. They love it. They love it. Uh, it's satisfying to them mm -hmm. to make you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they want you to make them happy, mm -hmm. and in turn, they will make you very happy. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you fulfill their needs, they want to rock our world, don't they? They do. They do, <laughs> and they can. <laughs> they can. They're, they're wonderful women. They're wonderful. And they're they, women they, in the greatest and the best sense of the word. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.